The airport was already there when most of its neighbors moved in. But critics say the airport has changed ever since civilian jets began using it in the 1960s. When jets are up there, you can, you can smell them and it gives you a headache and a sore throat. Virginia Ernst lives about a block away from the runway. I mean, there's no way you can have planes flying this close to residential properties and there not be a lot of pollution. UCLA researchers found that a Mar Vista neighborhood downwind of the airport had a higher amount of ultra-fine particle pollutants than the traffic congested areas of downtown Los Angeles and Boyle Heights. We don't really know exactly how problematic they are. There's a lot of evidence suggesting that they may be quite problematic. Some people would like to see the airport turn into a recreational area. I'm tired of living in a war zone. Those who want to keep the airport open say that the city does not have the resources to transform the airport into anything else and say that the idea of transforming it into a park is not realistic. I don't think it will achieve what the neighbors want except those neighbors that want their property values to go up. The idea of you know digging up all the concrete that's been laid for the runway and ha has had an airport on it for a hundred years, the ground would be prohibitively expensive to clean. Charles Thompson's aviation business would be affected if the airport closes. Just last month, a federal judge dismissed a lawsuit in which the city tried to gain control and ownership from the federal government.